how long does it take you to, to get going in the morning if you were riding that day? Well, uh, I, I, my one claim to fame probably is that I'm the fastest rider in the world. I write very rapidly. My, my daughter and I started writing a series of books together, and she's very slow and methodical, uh, an accountant and that kind of person. And we got halfway through the first book, and we were, she, she fired me and said, I don't need you. She said, you go off and I'll write the book. She's very meticulous and very much more careful about uh, backgrounds. And, 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 and if it says it in her book, it's there. Mine's liable to be a, something I made up. But uh, uh, I write very fast. As, well, as a matter of fact, I dictate all my books on tape recorder. And then I have a lady type them out, and she gives me the disc, and I can put them in and straighten them up. I'm a very slow, poor typist, but I can talk good. <laughs> now, when you are coming up with characters, where does that inspiration come from? Well, um, obviously these are, these are that many novels, it, they're, 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 they're alike, and you will have uh, uh, villains and heroes. And uh, I, I take as many from history and from life as I can. And when I write, I'm, I'm writing now about George Washington. So I try to make George Washington in my book, I have him saying those things which it, are on record that he said. And uh, what kind of a man was he? I read half a dozen books, they don't all agree, so you have to make your own judgment. And then um, I have met people that just are like characters in a book, and I don't have to make up anything. They just had one that I call Uncle Seedy, that he, he was a southern man, and he's a, a fox hunter and all of that, and I didn't have to do anything except write down what I knew about him. So that's the easy part. When it comes to coming up with the way to end a book, <laughs> How do you know when it's time to wrap this one up and do another one? <laughs> well, I don't always, and you can tell by reading some of my books that I didn't know how to wrap it up very well. Uh, and it's almost like drop the curtain before the act is over. Very difficult. But what I do, I never start a book until I have a complete outline. And the outline may be 40 pages long. And I'll, then chapter one, this happens. In chapter two, these things happen, and and put dates on them, and so before I ever start a book, I have already made that decision uh, how it's going to end, and uh, I don't know how other people do that. I had one lady tell me she writes Christian fiction, and she I said, how do you get ready to write? I just sit down at a computer and start writing without planning. Yes. And I read one of her books and I couldn't believe it. Uh, uh, but, but I think you have to plan those. It's like a house. If you were going to build a house, you wouldn't just get out there and start driving nails and put. You would have a blueprint. And I'm very, I'm very good at that. So once I get that done, I, just, I can say, okay, chapter one. Henry came into the room and saw that Helen was engaged in a, a passionate kiss with June. What are you doing? And I just do that, and then I. Then I have to fix it. It's 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 never in good shape, but at least it's there. Speaking of planning, there are many people out there who are planning to write their first book. What advice do you have for them? Uh, don't quit your job. <laughs> it's the first thing. It's hard to get into writing. It's a, it's a slow process, except for a few people like Margaret Mitchell and Gone with the Wind or John Grissom and the Client. That doesn't happen very often. Um, uh, it's the same way you learn to write, the same way you would learn to paint. You have to learn certain fundamentals about paint, about texture, about canvas, and I can't do it, but I know that unless you're a natural born genius like Mozart perhaps, that just did it, you have to learn the fundamentals. And you, how do you learn to ride a bicycle? You learn to ride, or at least I learned to ride a bicycle by falling off and then getting up 
and uh, trying it again. And you learn from your failures as well as your successes. And, and of course, you find good models, somebody that you think is a fine writer, and, and uh, how did he do it? And you study that.